Hello, you all. This is Lisa. I'm coming to y'all with the prophetic reasons. Okay, the prophetic meaning of the bridge collapsing in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been uh, diligently researching um, what God wanted me to do with this. I've been up throughout the night, actually. Um, please don't skip this video. This video is covered in the blood of Jesus. Send her listeners, receive us, Father. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation in the name of Jesus. Okay, you all, um, I'm going to be in a lot of different things today. I don't know if it's going to be a two-parter, but I have a lot of content and information of research and Bible reading that I've been doing. Um, so just to give you a preface of what's going on here. God, I asked the Lord what uh, was the prophetic meaning, and I was told that he's a bridge over troubled waters. Now, we know that, <coughs> excuse me, we know that um, in John 5, 4, the bridge is symbolic between the relationship between God and man. It's a passageway to him from one place to another, Okay. So we come from the world as believers to come to God in Christ. He says to live as Christ, to die as gain. All right. So we know that he cleanses us. And in the Bible, it tells us that the angels troubled the water. And then the Israelites came in and they were healed from their diseases and illnesses. Okay. So he's a bridge over troubled waters for us, everyone. In Daniel 7, 13, 14, in my vision at night, I looked and there before me was one like the son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. This is Daniel's vision. He approached the ancient of days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshiped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away and will never be destroyed. Amen. John 3, 8. The winds blows where it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. Amen. That's the Holy Spirit, the breath. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Acts 2, 2. And suddenly there came out a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. So God puts his Holy Spirit on his people. It was 3,000 of Pentecost that received the tongues of fire. It's the Holy Spirit of God that's working on his land, everybody. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like a fire. And set upon each of them 3,000 people were filled with the Holy Spirit of Pentecost. Parthians, Medes, Elamites, dwellers of Mesopotamia, and in Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus in Asia. The Holy Spirit is the Ruach Kadesh or the breath. Exodus 14, 21, 29. The Lord caused a strong wind, east wind to blow. Hallelujah. Most, Moses raises, raised up his hand over the Red Sea for Pharaoh's chariots and horses fell in the sea. The Israelites crossed the sea on dry ground. So when that sea, when Moses raised his hand, through the power of the Lord, and that sea departed, the Israelites were able to cross over dry land, okay? He goes to repair a table before us in the presence of our enemies in Psalms 23, 5. Now, Jonah was in the whale's belly for three days because he disobeyed the Lord to tell Nineveh to repent. He went to Tarshish, remember? He boarded the ship from Josh, Joppa to Tarshish. And, and Tarshish, and Esther 1, 14, passing a Persian prince named Tarshish. It is a village in Lebanon, about 50 kilometers from Beirut. Genesis 10, 4, 5, the sons of Javan is uh, Tarshish, who lived in the land around the Mediterranean Sea. Three means harmony and unity, newness. Jesus rose on the third day. It means new life, new beginnings. Peter, John, and James follow Christ to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus prayed to be delivered from his sufferings. Jonah 1 3. Jonah ran from God. Lord sent a great wind to cause a turbulence. The seas was calm once the people in Tarshish ship threw Jonah overboard. Jonah was punished for his disobedience. God gave him another chance and went to Nineveh. Isaiah 6 9 through 10. Surely the coastlands will wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish will come first. 
to bring your sons from afar, their silver and their gold with them, for the name of the Lord your God and for the Holy One of Israel, because he was glorified. He has glorified you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I'm going to take you all to the book of Esther, but I'm not going to take you all there just yet, okay? If you go with me, <coughs> excuse me, to 2 Chronicles 10, uh, 2 Chronicles ch uh, chapter 9, verse 21. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Haram. Every three years once came the ships of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver and ivory and apes and peacocks. And King Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. He surpassed them. All the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom that God had put in his heart. They brought every man his present, vessels of silver, vessels of gold and raiment, harness of spices, horses and mules, a rate um, year by year. And Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots and 12,000 horsemen, which he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. And he reigned over all kings from the river, even unto the land of Philistines and the border of Egypt. And the king made silver in Jerusalem and stones and cedar trees made. He as the sycamore trees that they all are, are in the low plains in the abundance. See, um, there's abundance. God gave Solomon wisdom and with wisdom, he gave him abundance. He had chariots and horses and he was um, bigger than all other kings. And they came to Solomon for the wisdom that God gave him because they know that Solomon had many things. Okay. In Psalm 72, the book of Psalm 72, everyone, he said, give the, give the king thy judgments, God, and thy righteousness unto king's son, the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. The mountain shall bring peace to people and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor and the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all nations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass and showers that water the earth. In his day shall he the righteous flourish in abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him and his enemy shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and other isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba and Seba shall offer gifts. Ye all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. Okay. So, um, Sheba and Seba. Okay. They were bringing um, balm and oil. Okay, um, and for he shall deliver the needy when he crieth the poor also, and him that have no help. Okay, they were coming from Cush, everyone. He shall spare the poor, the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. The life of the oppression. See, God coming to the saved oppressed. And he shall live, and to him shall be of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn and the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and, and they of cities shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and the men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of, the, God of Israel who only doeth wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. A prayer of David, the son of Jesse, is ended. If you all will turn with me right now in Ezekiel 27. The word of the Lord came. Again unto me, saying, Now thou son of man, take up a lamentation of Tyrus. Say unto Tyrus, O thou art situate at the entry of the sea, which art a merchant of the people of many isles. Thus saith the Lord God, O Tyrus, thou hast said, I am of perfect beauty. 
Thy borders are in the midst of the seas. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. They have made all thy shipboards of fir trees of Sinur. They have taken cedars from Lebanon to make mass for thee. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made thine oars. The company of Asherites, Asherites have made thy benches of ivory brought out of the isles of Shittim. Fine linen with broided work from Egypt was that which thou spreadest forth to thy sail. Blue the purple, blue and purple from the isle of Elisha was th that which covered thee. Their coast, everyone. Okay. These are the inhabitants of Zidon, where thy mariners, the wise men or Tyrus that were in thee, were thy pilots. Okay. Now, I need for us to go, you all to go with me in the book of Esther. Okay. If it pleases the king, <laughs> King Jesus, that's been in my spirit. All right. Now, in the book of Esther, you all, chapter one. Okay. It says, now it came to pass in the days of Ahasuerus. This is Ahasuerus, which reigned from India unto Ethiopia, over 107 and 20 provinces. Now, the ship that was, that ran into the bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, was on its way to India. Okay, everybody. So, it says, now it came to pass. In the days of Ahasuerus, that is, uh, which reigned from India even unto Ethiopia, over in 107 and 20 provinces, that in those days when the king Ahasuerus sat on the throne of his kingdom, which was Shushan, the palace, all right? So Shush, uh, Shush, uh, Shushan is Iranian, everybody, okay? Susa, Shushan. Arania, all right? Okay, now, in the third year of his reign, he made a feast unto all his princes and servants, the servants of Persia and Media, the nobles and the princes of the provinces being before him. Okay? Now, the empire encompassed, the Persia empire encompasses modern-day Iran. Okay? It, it, it reigns over Central Asia, Mesopotamia, Anatolia, and Egypt. The Medes were Indo-Iranian speaking people from Central Asia. Okay. When he showed, I'm in the book of Esther, everyone, chapter one. When he showed the riches of his glorious kingdom and the honor of his excellent majesty many days, even in 104 score days. And when these days were expired, the king made a feast unto all the people that were present in Shushan the palace, both unto great and small, seven days in the court of the garden of the king's palace, where were white, green, and blue hangings fastened with cords of fine linen and purple, to silver rings and pillars of marble. The, be the beds were of gold and silver upon a pavement, red and blue, white and black marble. See, a, a king of Xerxes liked to show off his riches. And he, he liked to uh, 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 pretty much make a spectacle of his wife, <laughs> but she was not having it. And the drinking was according to the law. None did compel, for so the king had appointed to all the officers of his house that they should do according to every man's pleasure. Also, Vashti the queen made a feast for the women in the royal house, which belonged to King Ahasuerus. And so Vashti made her little feast. On the seventh day, when the heart of the king was married with wine, he commanded Mahuman, Bitha, Habona, Bicta, and Abatha, Zathar, and Carcass, the seven chamberlains that served in the presence of Ahasuerus, the king, to bring Vashti, queen, before the king with the crown royal to show the people and the princess her beauty, for she was fair to look upon. Look upon. That's what the Bible says when you grow beautiful. They say she's fair to look upon. <laughs> but the queen Vashti, she refused. Right? Vashti said she was not coming there to somebody to look at her beauty. She was not doing that. Refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth and his anger burned in him. Then the king said to the wise men, which knew the times, for was the king's manner toward all that new law and judgment. And the next unto him was Sashina, Shether, Admatha, Tarshish, Mirs, 
uh, Mercina and Mimikin, the seven princes of Persia and Media, which saw the king's face and which saw the first in the kingdom. What shall we do until Queen Vashti, according to law, because she have not performed the commandment of the king of Hazarizes by the chamberlains? So they were asking what to do with her because she was being disobedient to the king. Okay, so Mamukin answered before the king and the princess Vashti, the king had not uh, done wrong to king only, but also to all the princesses. And to all the people that are in all the provinces of the king of Hazarazus. For this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women, so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes, which it shall be reported. The king of Hazarazus commanded Vashti the queen to be brought in before him, but she came not. So she was, uh, they took her crown from her, right? Because she was being, in their opinion, disrespectful. She said no to them. Okay, it's like, how dare you say no <laughs> to the king? Likewise shall the ladies of Persia and Media say this day unto all the king princes, which have heard of the deed of the queen, thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath. It is if it pleases the king, which I was hearing, let there go a royal commandment from him, and let it be written among the laws of the Persians and the Medes, that it be not altered. That Vashti... Come no more before King Ahaz arises, and let the king give her royal estate unto another that is better than she. This is where Esther comes in. And when the king decree which he shall make shall be published throughout all his empire, for it is great. All the wives shall give their husbands honor, both to great and small. And the saying pleased the king and the princess, and the king did according to the word of the uh, Mumakin. For he sent letters into all the king's provinces, and to every province according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language, that every man should bear rule in his own house, and that it should be pu it should be published according to the language of every people. After these things, when the wrath of King Ahasuerus was appeased, he remembered Vashti and what she had done, and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, Let there be a uh, be fair young virgin sought for the king. And let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom, that they may gather together all the fair young virgins unto Shushan the palace, to the house of the women, unto the custody of Hages, the king's chamberlain, keeper of the women, and let their things for purification be given him. Let the maiden which pleaseth the king be queen instead of Vashti, and the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shushan, the palace, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shemia, the son of Kish, and Benjam a Benjamite, who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity which he had carried away with Jeconiah, king of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away. And he brought Hadassah, that is, Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. Amen. So we know that Esther was put in place as Queen Esther. Okay. The crown from Vashti went to Queen Esther because Vashti was being disobedient and wasn't listening to the king. So he um, picked Esther, okay? So Esther was a woman to um, stand up for Israel. She said, if I perish, I perish, okay? And Esther went and she told um, King Ahasuerus, okay, about Haman, who was plotting and scheming to kill the Israelites, okay? So this is very, very prophetic, everyone. We're dealing with the Medes, we're dealing with Iranians, we're dealing with um, Mesopotamia, Central Asia, Medes of the Persian Empire, everyone. We know that uh, God is going to come down on the Babylonian Empire, okay? Uh, um, in Daniel, the book of Daniel tells us about the um, Babylonian Empire, everyone. So we must be vigilant, we must... Um, 
pray. Pray for our cities. Pray for our nations. Pray for America. Pray for Israel, everyone. Okay, so God say he will bless those who bless Israel. And um, he's a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, everyone. So every knee must bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, everyone. And we know that um, in the book of Daniel comes Cyrus, right, everyone? I have on my blog about Cyrus. Um, you know, Cyrus was put in place to do uh, uh, a great thing uh, from the Babylonian um, empire, okay? He had to put Israel back where they supposed to be. He had to help, even though he did not know God, he knew that he had something to do for God, okay? And Daniel prophesied um, about um, what Cyrus had role was going to be, okay, everyone? So God is moving mightily in our nation, and um, he's going to put a Cyrus in place, everybody, God is going to put a Cyrus in place. Okay. So Cyrus was, you know, someone who had to connect the Jewish people back to be uh, liberated. Okay. Um, for rebuilding uh, from the enemies. Okay. Um, um It, it was so much going on, so much going on uh, with Cyrus, everybody. So if you want to read the book of Daniel about Cyrus, it lets you know um, all about the Babylonian Empire, okay? Um, God gave me, he let me hear Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and it was really, really loud. And, uh, you know, this is about the time I was doing... Um, you know, down there about the river, you know, Euphrates. Thank you, Father. <laughs> I couldn't even remember what it was. I did a video on Euphrates, Euphrates, uh, Euphrates River. <laughs> I had two videos on that. Awesome videos. You all can go to my channel and check them, check them out. But um, I did videos on Euphrates River. God let me hear the Babylonian. Um, he said, this is uh, Mystery Babylon. And it was a lot of screams, you all. Uh, so loud that it could bust a person's eardrum. Okay, sometimes I see certain things and sometimes I can hear certain things. I've, I've heard Joshua bring the Israelites, okay? Uh, um, God tell them, telling them to keep going. So sometimes he let me see certain things and sometimes he let me hear certain things, okay? So he says, the gates of hell, so he says, on this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against them. All right? So believe uh, that God is, is a God that shall not lie. He does what he says. And he's a faithful God. And he wants us to stay in prayer. Okay? Proclaim his name. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who was and is to come. He's Lord of Lord and King of Kings, everybody. When an enemy tries to come in like a flood, the Lord raises a standard against him. Okay? So just know that he's God. All right? Let me pray for you all. He wants us to breathe. Like a woman in travail giving birth. He wants us to breathe. He wants us to push. He wants to pray until something happens. Okay? He wants you to breathe and know when to push, know when to hold still. All right? He's that breath of life for us. He breathed in us and we became, man became a living soul, everybody. All right? Father God, I thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for your word. You shall come forth as pure gold, O oh God. 
Let our hearts be mirrored to you. Let us love thy neighbor as thyself. Let us love the Lord thy God with all our heart and all our might. Father God, peace, dominion, honor, and power be with us now and forevermore. Let your face shine upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. We give them all the glory. Thank you, Father. All the honor and, and praise. I congratulate the Lord for being an awesome God. We thank the Father in heaven for sending his only begotten Son, who was in this to come, the great I am. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, O creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 This video is covered in the blood. Be blessed, you all. Hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Give likes and thanks and share in Jesus' name. Bye bye.